These crappie are so big, they're stretching my line. That's a monofilament. They're stretching my six pound high vis. We're in an emergency. We are in one of those emergency fishing situations, okay? Where you can't call your buddy. You can't tell him, come on, let's go fishing. Or I found him. This is one of those things when you pull up on them, you got to hit them right where, right where you are, where you stand, okay? Ain't no shaving. You got to hit them just as they are. You can't call your buddy. You can't say, come on, let's get ready. I found them. Come on, get Because if you do, you leave and you come back, they're going to be gone, okay? We're in the spring. I'm still wearing a scully because it's chilly. I forgot River's sweater. He doesn't have his sweater on. He's chilly. And this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pull up. And as a matter of fact, before I get to that spot, I'm getting ready to drop my anchor, guys, in the fish are on a drop off on the left and the right side of this point. I'll be dropping my anchor in about 10 inches of water and I'm throwing off of the drop off to the left and I'm throwing off to the drop off on the right hand side. Okay. Today, let me show you what I'm using because you know what kind of channel we're running here. I'm using my bronze. No, no, I'm using my silver nasty stick combo, which is exclusively made to catch crappie. Okay. You see the Portuguese cork handle? It got that surefire bail that doesn't fail on you guys. I know you guys have had those bails. Every time you click it, it doesn't click. When you start reeling, no. My reels don't do that, okay? I'm using that 116 nasty bend hook with that red, black, and chartreuse, okay? So we're going to get in there, and they're, they're ambushing fish, bait fish, right now as we speak, okay? Um, as a matter of fact, on the boat with me right now, I'm going to be using the bronze. I'm sorry, I'm going to be using the silver. But on the boat with me also, this is our platinum edition. I have it here. You can see the cam's nasty stick. It is a micro light. Okay, you can see that right there. This one right here is still brand new. Still got the plastic on, on the uh, cork handle. Okay, that's the platinum edition. And one that you guys have not seen yet. Oh, still river I know you're cold babe this is my gold edition okay this is cam's nasty stick this is my gold edition all of my micro lights okay excuse me the rod the, the rod itself is hundred percent carbon fiber guys my rods are six two and all of them are balanced just like this okay all of my rod and reels are balanced this particular reel right here has nine ball bearings and my platinum has ten plus one and that one ball bearing goes right here to stop that bail from clicking, from going backwards, okay? They're made for left and right hand, fi right hand fishermen or fisher ladies, okay? So you can exchange left or right, so you don't have to worry about if my poles are right or left. But I, I'm gonna be fishing again with the silver, the uh, silver edition. I also have the bronze edition, which is right here. This is the bronze edition. Okay, so we cover the, the, the whole spectrum. And listen, I want to kind of say this to you because I get sidetracked all the time. If you want the very best that I have, if you want the very best that I have, it's my Cam Signature Series Blackout Titanium Combo. That's the best I have. The guts are titanium, the gears. Okay, it's blacked out. I put everything that I had, including the kitchen sink, every tool that I had in my toolbox, I put it in that blacked out titanium rod and reel. It's a 6.6 six rod, okay? But it's still a micro light, all right? Give you a little bit more control. But listen, real quick, so you know what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using the uh, silver edition. Let's pull up and I'm gonna let you see me drop this anchor in about 10 inches of water and I'm gonna show you how deep it is, okay? Again, this is one of those emergency situations. So if you don't wanna fish with me because I didn't shave, come on now, I'm taking one for the team right now. I'm taking one for the team. I'm gonna show you with my paddle when I drop it, how deep it is, okay? You're gonna hear my, my, my uh, rotor on my propeller bottom out. Okay, we're right here on the point right now. Okay, you can see I got my marker down there. Let me turn you guys around so you can see my marker. Okay, that's my marker there. Where's my paddle? Look at that. You hit a propeller already. Let me show you how deep we are. Look at that. 
15 inches look at that and the further I go up it gets even less it gets like six inches six inches deep okay let me see if I can turn you so you can see when I drop the, the uh, anchor in the water let me show you this now they're sitting on those ledges crappy or ambush fish they're, ex they're, they're extremely mean fish okay you always have to remember that watch this watch how I drop this in I'm going to make sure you guys can see this watch when I drop this anchor in there that's it that's it okay so we're going to see if we can locate them. Let me get my towel. Let's see if we can have some luck here. I'm going to go up just a little bit. I'm going to go up just a touch with my paddle. Just a little bit. There we go. Right there. All right. I'm not casting too far, okay? Let me turn you around just a little bit. And we're just going to see if we can have some luck. Remember, slow that retrieve down. It's very important that you do that. Look at that. Look at that. God almighty. Look at that, guys. First cast. First cast. First cast, we're catching crockets. First cast. Mm, mm, mm. That red, black, and chartreuse is what you want. Let me turn you around a little bit so you guys can see me. There you go. Perfect eating size. Now I want to kind of say this to you too. Look like she look like she may have some eggs in her. Let me look at it and see. Yeah, we're gonna let her go. Any hint that I see that these crappie have eggs in them, I don't keep them okay because I have a responsibility here and I catch crappie eight days a week 25 hours a day and for you guys that have been following me on Instagram and Facebook I appreciate you I see you out there I appreciate all the love that you guys give me let's let this one go because when I looked at her stomach I have a little bit of doubt about that so we're gonna let her go let me turn you down a little bit we're gonna let her go we're not keeping that one but let me say this I am on a meat run okay I want to tell you that I am on a meat run Let's get back up there again. Now remember what I told you about checking your jig. Make sure the T's and I's are all done. Okay, make sure everything's together. Let's get back up there again. We're gonna throw in that same spot. Until you stop me, I'm gonna keep doing the same thing. I'm not gonna change it. Until you stop me, I'm gonna do the same thing. Look at that. Good night. Every cast. Look at that. Boy, listen to that drag. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, these crappie are biting. Look at this crappie. Woo! Let me pull you down just a little bit. God almighty. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, these are... Man, this is a 12 and a half. Ooh, wait a minute. Mm, this is a 13 inch crop. I don't know if we're going to keep her either. Let me show you this rascal. Let me get some of this string off of here. God almighty. Yank. Let me show it to you. Mm, mm, mm. Look at the size of this crappie. Let me pull you down just a little bit. There we go. Turn you. Ah, look at this. Guys, I, I am on a meat run today, but I'm going to let her go. I'm not, I'm not keeping her. Her stomach's kind of big, I think. I don't know. Let me look at her twice. Let me look at that stomach. Yeah, we're going to let her go. We're not going to keep her. Situations that if you run and try to go get your buddy and come back, the fish will be gone. I know if you fish for crappie for a while, You've had that to happen to you. Believe me, you're not the only one. We have to hit that exact spot. If we don't hit that exact spot, there he is. That's that exact spot. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Whether you call them Sackalade, whether you call them
speckled bass, whether you call them spotted bass, listen to that drag. Listen to that drag. Guys, let me tell you, if you're three feet to the right, you won't miss them. You won't hit them. If you're three feet to the left, you won't get them. You've got to be, you've got to hit that spot each and every time. Look at that. You've got to hit that, man, he's pulled, ugh, nice. Look at, man, this is a crappie. This feel, oh man, this is a big crappie. This is a big crappie. This is a big crappie. Guys, I want to show this one to you with some scale. Listen, listen at that drag. This is a big crappie. This is a big, man, this is a big crappie. Good night. Man, this rascal can fight. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to reach down and get this one. God almighty. <whistles> River, back up a little bit for me. <laughs> God, let me back you up so you guys can see this rascal. God almighty, look at the size of this crappie. Ooh, look at that. Mm. I'm not going to keep this one. 13 and a half, bumping 14 inches. When you guys first started with me, a lot of you guys, I always brought out my tape measure each and every time, okay, to show you how big the crappie are. And after a while, after about 10 episodes, you guys knew that I knew exactly the size of crappie that I was catching, okay? You guys knew that. Okay, I wanna show this to you. I got my thumb on 15 inches, okay? I got my thumb on 15 inches. 14 and a half inch crappie. I'm gonna put my thumb right there so you guys can see it. 14 and a half inch crappie. Guys, hey, it is what it is. I'm not gonna keep this one because she's been in there a long time. This isn't the, the, the size that I would take to eat. 14 and a half inch crappie. I remember somebody saying, y'all just taking his word for what size crappie this guy's catching. If you follow me for a long time, you know that I would always pull out my tape measure when I first got started. Let me catch and release this rascal here so you guys can see him, okay? Let me pull you down just a little bit. Ah, mighty. Sometimes if I'm over too far to the right, I'm not going to have that luck. If I'm too far to the left, I'm not going to have that luck. I got to look where I am in the water and look by my marker. And I have to figure out exactly where I am. Look at that. God almighty, look at that. Listen at that drag. Listen at that drag. God almighty. That exact same spot. Let me show it to you. God almighty, you some big crappie. Good night. God almighty. Mighty look at this big rascal. Mm -hmm. Guys, I don't know what to say. I I'm sitting here showing it to you. God, this is a, man, this feels like a bath. Okay, this is another 14 and a half, 15 inch crappie. Good night. Let me turn you around so you can see this big rascal. Let me bend you down a little bit. Man, this is, this is absurd. This is crazy. Let me turn you around. Mm, mm, mm. River's like, boy, are we having fun now. Look at the size of this crappie, guys. Okay. Again. This segment here. This segment here. If you feel as if you have all your game together, you know everything about catching crappie, you know what to use, you, every time you go out, you got them, you slay them, you don't need nobody to tell you nothing, this video and this channel is not for you. But for the people that want to get a refresher course on how to catch big hubcaps, big supermodels like this, this is your channel. And you need to know what I'm using, okay? And you need to know how I'm using it, and the, the equipment, the hardware that I'm using, this channel's for you, okay? Guys, this is a 13 and a half, another 14 inch crappie. That red, black, and chartreuse. I'm not keeping. This rascal here is too big. I'm looking for the 12s. I'm gonna let her go. All right, let me show it to you. Pre-spawn crappie is what we're looking for. Mm, mm, mm.
Hey, y'all heard me say it one time, you heard me say it a million times. I do a lot of things, baby, but changing ain't one of them. Yank! That's all we doing. Whew. We got all of our poles right here on the boat with us. Okay. Let me show them to you. We got all of my poles right here. Platinum, gold, silver, and bronze edition. I got them all right here. All of these, matter of fact, let me show it to you. All of these guys are my nasty stick combos. And they're available right now, pre-order. Okay, last time we sold out and a lot of you guys got mad at me. I had one lady that said, Cam, this is just unacceptable for you to do business like this. You sold out. This is that Platinum Series. Okay, Cam's Nasty Stick. And you couple that Nasty Stick along with that Nasty Bend Hook. You see me right now catching 12, 13, 14. And one of the ones I caught was bumping 15 inch crappie. I'm doing it right now. Okay, and let me tell you this, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. I wasn't the smartest one in the class. I just sit back and I just do what I know how to do. And you guys have heard me say it many times. I do little things big. Get in a nice pattern. And remember what you're feeling for is a single thumb, just like that. God almighty. Look at that. Guys, these are some heavy crappies. These are some serious supermodels. Look at that. Look at that Cam's Nasty Stick bend. Guys, that's why I made my rod 6'2", so you have more control. Look at this crappie. God almighty, this is a big crappie. Woo! We got one. <laughs> Look at that. Man, I tried to pick that big boy up, and the drag just started screaming. Let me turn you around. Good night. Look at this crappie. She's going, she's earned a boat, boat ride home with us today. I see somebody over there on the bank fishing. Let me turn you up a little bit. Ah, look at that. Guys, this is a 13 inch crappie. Mm, mm, mm. What did we catch them off of? That Cam's nasty stick combo and that red, black, and chartreuse. Guys, we've sold over 390,000 of these plastics. And let me say this while I got you guys on, uh, 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 got you guys attention. I need for you guys to understand that you're going to have to be a little bit patient with me on my orders. I do this myself. I don't have a team, eight, nine, ten people that pack this stuff and ship it out to you guys. I do it myself. I believe that the same thing that I'm using, it has to pass through my hands before I approve it and ship it to you, okay? That's very, very important for me to do. That's why I have to do everything myself. So please be patient with me, and I'm gonna get them to you guys as fast as I can when you order. Let's put this one right here in the basket.